I want to share with y'all some things you may not know about what's happening in the North Carolina mountains in the aftermath of Helene. Here's number one. If you have friends or family that are headed into the mountains or who live there, the looting has picked up major steam. I was advised yesterday by a county sheriff to make sure that anybody out and about is carrying, and in his words, carrying with the safety off. There are very aggressive people out there, and I'm just going to go ahead and say this. It's not because they're necessarily awful. They're desperate. Desperate people do desperate things, y'all. And why are they desperate? Because there's no water in some of these communities. We have neighbors in North Carolina with no water. And all I can say is this. The government ain't coming to save you. Not now, not ever, because they don't care about you, the people, anymore. It is the citizens who are going to have to step it up. Now, I got to tell y'all, I was floored yesterday by how my community, which is a little over an hour away from the affected areas, showed up at donation sites with water and diapers and formula and some uh, liquid IV. I mean, y'all brought all kind of things, bleach, vinegar. You are ready to help, and we're going to take more donations today, and we're so grateful for everything because I'm going to get it into the hands of actual volunteers. And I was asking people, like, why are you bringing it to me? Some of y'all don't even know me. And they said, well, we don't trust the relief organizations anymore. Y'all, we have lost our organizations to grifters. We have lost our organizations to liars. And so we have to rely on each other because that's how this country was built. This country was built patriot by patriot. And I can tell you this, as a realtor, I know my realtors in the mountains and I have talked to them and they know the neighbors too. So I am getting your donations into hands that are going to get it into hands. And everybody that sent me dollars, I got teams of shoppers out and I got receipts to prove it because we are not grifters. We are neighbors and the patriots that are in the mountains. If you see this, if your family sees this, hear me now. You are not forgotten by the rest of North Carolina. And if you are not in North Carolina, then there are ways that you can give. But can I just remind you all of something? You cannot eat money. You cannot drink money. So for those of y'all that thought money was your God, and by the way, that includes our freaking elected officials, it's not your God. I told my girlfriend this morning while we were talking about this during our run, I said, tell your children, she's got grown children, this is why you keep a stash of water on hand. This is why you keep a stash of food on hand. But for those of y'all that are not in affected areas, if you can take your donated items and send it to the mountains, then send it with a friend. Make sure you're sending truckloads so that we don't overload the roads because our first responders are overwhelmed. By the way, thank you, Governor DeSantis, for doing more for North Carolina than North Carolina's governor has. I'm very grateful for your National Guard because we have to help each other, y'all. And I'm going to tell you something. If you will share this with somebody who doesn't know what's happening in North Carolina, they need to know. They need to know that there are entire towns gone. Chimney Rock is gone, a beautiful town. Swannanoa, gone. Montreat, gone. Other towns damaged beyond repair. That means our geography has changed, our culture is at risk, but most importantly, our people, our generational people have lost their generational homes. This ain't about your granite countertops anymore. Listen, y'all, listen. Tell somebody how they can help. I am but one resource. There are people I know all over North and South Carolina that have been gathering up goods and trucks. Somebody as far away as Massachusetts putting a truck together, let me know. I can connect you to where to take things. The Baptists are doing a great job out of Boone. Samaritan's Purse is on the ground. I trust those two organizations. I wish I had trust for more because I don't trust this government, but I trust the people of North Carolina. Y'all, the biggest thing you can do, pray. Pray right now. Pray fervently that people will turn their hearts back to God and pray for a head to protection around all those who have seen things they should never have to see. I'll tell you one more story before I hang up this video. I had a lady come to my donation site yesterday and her grandson is 10 years old living in the mountains with his mother who works in a VA hospital. They're getting the kid out today to get him home because they can finally get him out. And they're worried because he has seen things he should never have to see. When you have children that are seeing bodies on the ground and towns gone, we're going to have to answer for that one day, y'all. Please pray. Please do something. And for those of y'all that have already done something, I can't thank you enough.